Hello there and welcome to this Biology Mind A-level tutorial on the life cycle and replication of viruses. So in our last lesson we learned about the structure of viruses and ways to classify them. We looked at how viruses are not living cells and that they need to infect host cells in order to reproduce. And you now understand that all viruses have a protective protein coat called a capsid and a core of nucleic acid. And we can classify viruses based on the types of these structures. So we have two key learning objectives for this tutorial. Number one, to have a look at viral life cycle and replication. And number two, to have a look at what latency is. So viruses do not undergo cell division. They infect a host cell and use it to replicate themselves and to produce new viral proteins. So how do they replicate them? So a virus binds to a host cell, first of all. So this is our host cell, and this is our virus binding to our host cell. And it binds to our host cell using attachment proteins, which are essentially these things here that attach to the membrane of the host cell. And viruses can have different attachment proteins, which mean that different viruses infect different types of cells. When viruses infect a host cell, they inject their nucleic acids into the host cell. So once the attachment proteins of the virus attach to a host cell, the virus latches onto the cell and injects the host cell with its nucleic acids. Certain viruses can also inject unique viral proteins into the host cell, and these proteins help hijack the host cells to replicate the viral genomes and to make the new viral proteins. Viruses can also force the cell to give up using energy to make proteins and replicate DNA for the cell. Once the host cell has produced a sizable number of viral particles, the viral particles will burst through the cell through a process called lytic release. So you can see here that the virus has now replicated and it's now assembled and it can now be ejected from the cell, released from the host cell through a process called lytic release. And once they burst through the cell, the viruses will go on to infect other host cells. Meanwhile, the original host cell is now dead because of a gaping hole in its cell membrane. So this is the original cell membrane. Sorry, this is the original host cell. It's now dead because the virus has hijacked its cellular machinery and also burst out of it. Now, viruses can become latent during the lysogenic part of the viral reproduction cycle. So during the lysogenic part of the viral reproduction cycle, viruses can become latent. Now, when a virus becomes latent, this means that it stops reproducing viral particles. At some point in the future, the virus may become reactivated, and this might be due to various factors such as stress. The virus will then resume producing viral particles and will continue on to the lytic cycle. This means that the host may become ill without having been reinfected from a new virus from the external environment. So this is just recapping what I just said. So the virus may become reactivated due to various factors such as stress, and it will resume producing viral particles and will continue on to the lytic cycle. And it's the lytic cycle, lytic cycle which will then make the host ill because the host's own cells are being destructed. Okay, that is our tutorial complete for today. Well done for following through and I'll see you for the next one.